Okay, I found an old HP printer. It's a HP PSC 1410 all-in-one printer. So it's got a scanner, a printer, and a copy machine built in. So I'm going to take this apart. So it looks like the nuts that are, or the bolts that are holding these together are Allen wrench size. So I've got a whole bunch of Allen wrenches. I'm going to see which one fits. Definitely be careful when you do this. I broke the glass that goes on top, I'm trying to break this out. If I was right, the screws were Allen wrench, but I didn't find a wrench big enough to, or small enough to pull them out. So I actually broke the top off. I'm gonna probably have to break this part off too. A nice little motor in here, a couple of decent gears. This is the part that slides back and forth to do the scanning. My guess is there's probably some something in here. Yep, there's the uh, little bitty screws holding this part in. So I'm going to take this part in a little bit. So to get it open, I had to break it with my screwdriver, uh, using it as a pry bar, and basically broke the plastic at the screw joints. I stuck them in here and then pried this way and hoped I didn't destroy any of the electronics, which it looks like the electronics were a good ways away from any of those points. Let's keep going. Okay, there's a bunch of interesting parts. I've got several different DC motors. So I've got one here, I've got one here. I think that's it. Yeah, that looks like it. So I've got two pretty good DC motors on here. USB port that can come out. A lot of this is probably not going to be salvageable because of all the surface mount chips on it. I like this. I've got a 7 LED number module. Um, looks like I might be able to get it out. It's all surface mounted even though the pins went through the board. I thought that was kind of interesting. These little rubber push buttons are not really salvageable either.
Oh, there's a third motor right there. This one's a smaller one. Some gears. I found a couple of useful springs. There's springs all over this thing. Um, I can take them out and hold on to them. I'm sure I can find a use for the springs. All kinds of springs on this side. Uh, there's one there. Well, yep, one there, one there. There's one down in there. So there's springs all over this one. This board is very simple. Just a couple of resistors and a capacitor. Interesting. Whole mess of gears in here. So we're going to take this out a little bit further apart. This came out of the scanner modules, which I'm guessing these little dots actually do the scanning. Got a whole bunch of surface mount components on here. It's a pretty interesting board, and I'm thinking it might be a good ruler if I want to mark it as uh, inches and centimeters or millimeters, whatever I want to do. And it's straight enough to where it would make a pretty decent. It almost looks like a 12 foot, 12 foot rule or 12 inch ruler. So these are the chips I got out of the printer. A lot of them I can't do anything with because they're all surface mount, super, super tiny surface mount. Capacitors are really in there tightly. So the leads on them would be pretty much useless. But I got a bunch of Torx screws out of the deal, a bunch of springs whole bunch of gears that might be good for a project. I still think this LED counter would be a good option. Uh, three decent DC motors. And that's about it. I got also got this rod that might be good for something down the road. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the teardown and all my problems I had with it. And we will see you next time.